I have spoken countless times on the nightmarish Whalen Protocol discussions. Some of them have been stalled for years with no end in sight. Sometimes a solution is put in place by every single desktop. Except one. And then they say, hmm, let's do something different even though we all agreed to do this five years ago. And sometimes the most pedantic bike sharing discussions you will ever see. I do not think there is a project in the open source space that has some worse discussions than what I've seen coming out of the Whalen project. There is a lot of really good contenders, but my personal favorite discussion right now is add XDG top level icon to allow Windows to set dedicated icons. This is being able to set an icon. This is a real project. Now this has only been going for four months, so you know there's still another seven years to get this resolved, but every single time it's about to be ready to be merged, someone comes in and says, hmm, what about this case? Hmm, what about this thing we've already rehashed 12 times already? Have you considered rehashing it again? And then things are changed, and then the cycle just repeats itself a couple of weeks later. Whilst that might be my favourite, it's by no means a rare sight. I can think of at least five other protocols off the top of my head that all meet very similar criteria. What is a rare sight is the exact opposite, where a protocol merger is opened. And then, not five years later, not a year later, not even six months later, a conversation happens, and the protocol merger is done. Just completed. A protocol where a merge got opened, and then just over a month later, it got merged. And the only reason it took a whole month is because a month is the minimum amount of time for a Wayland protocol discussion. Whilst that might be a little bit annoying, is nothing compared to the way it normally works. And the reason why it's a month is it gives people time to actually find out the protocol exists. If it was done basically straight away, you might have a protocol that gets merged where people had concerns, but they just didn't know it existed yet to actually have those concerns. It just gives people time to find the protocol, properly reason out what they're trying to say, and actually have a useful discussion. And I know after all the Wayland protocols I've discussed on this channel, that might seem impossible. It might seem completely impossible that a protocol discussion could go smoothly. But it did happen at least once. This is staging ad alpha modifier protocol made by Xavier Hugel. It was open for merger on March 5th and got merged two weeks ago. This actually got merged in a reasonable length of time. Now in this context, Xavier Hugel is operating as part of the KDE project, and he's shown up in countless other Wayland Protocol discussions, but one that you might recognize him for is the Tearing Updates Protocol from three whole years ago. This was the protocol to support screen tearing on Wayland. This is another one that took way too long to be merged. Anyway, back to the protocol that didn't take multiple years and way too many comments. This protocol allows clients to set an alpha multiplier for the whole surface, as in the whole window, which allows it to offload alpha changes for the whole surface to the compositor, which in turn can offload them to KMS. That being kernel mode setting, not the other KMS. And kernel mode setting is basically for configuring the display in kernel space. Now being a fairly simple protocol in its current state, it also has a fairly simple use case. The main use case is GameScope running nested in KWIN and offloading some blending animations to KWIN that way. I intend to later hook it up for nested KWIN too. Does nested KWIN need to be semi-transparent? No, I'd add overlay planes to the Wayland backend, which is pretty easy to do with Wayland surfaces, and those can be semi-transparent as part of KWIN's scene. This is one of those little backend efficiency changes which really doesn't need to be done. You can live without this, and everything has worked just fine without it. But if you can get it merged, things are going to be a little bit better. 
and unlike another fairly minor thing, it doesn't have 401 comments. Actually, to be fair, they're not really comments because GitLab counts the changes to the merge request as a comment. It's more like 401 events as opposed to 82. Also, only a month. Do you know the very first step in identifying how this is a completely non-controversial protocol? The very first comment on here isn't about the functionality, isn't about the protocol, nothing at all important. It's about the name. Should we pick a name a bit more generic than Alpha Multiplayer in case we need to add more related features to this protocol in the future? I'd prefer to keep this single purpose, to be honest. Another example of something this protocol might want to do in the future would be to drop the Alpha channel or override it with a fixed value. Okay, renamed it to Alpha Modifier. That's the end of that discussion. There's not like 50 other comments in here arguing what the name should be. That's it. That's all of it. Following that, there is one argument about the protocol brought up by Sebastian Wick of Gnome. This is really tricky because the alpha here cannot be pre-multiplied alpha but interacts with it. In its current form, the behavior here is not specified at all and making sure it is semantically meaningful might get really tricky. Which had no replies. No one argued with him. They just ignored the comment. Then Xavier went and made the merge request for the Kwin implementation. And surprisingly, this actually had a bit more argumentation than the main Wayland one. I say argument, but it's more like a very minor disagreement. Basically over whether this should affect individual windows or every window at the same time, and how different toolkits are going to expect this functionality to actually work, along with what should happen on window closure. We definitely do not want the surface to become opaque when the window is closed. The alpha modifier is double buffered, but still it's weird to require the surface to be valid when the destructor request is called. It limits potential ways how the client can perform cleanup. And apparently this is how Simon Sir of the WL Roots project requested the protocol. Xaver says it was the intention of the protocol to limit the ways that cleanup can be done, so the client is required to destroy this before the surface is destroyed. The same restriction exists in the XDG top level decoration. This is for server side decorations and it's terrible. There's no good reason justifying this behavior. It just makes teardown more complicated. Can we not do this in this protocol? But the discussion of how this is done is a little bit bigger than just the KDE project. And I'll get back to this in just a moment. Going back to the main merge, next we saw the implementation from WL Roots. And as is generally the case in WL Roots, uh, there's not really any discussion here. If Simon says it's going to happen, generally it's going to happen. Following this, an implementation in Gamescope, this one done by Joshua Ashton of Valve. Again, they're going to have internal discussions about how this is going to be done. This is just a Git tree. There's nothing directly being done for Gamescope in here. Then the next step is getting the axe, getting the acknowledgement, basically the different desktop projects saying, we think this is a good idea, let's go ahead and do so. Now, Joshua in this case doesn't actually count. So the first act is from Simon. Then there is an act from Vlad, who is from the KDE project. And now we're at two. We need three of them. Next up, people contacted from the Western project, Cosmic, and also Gnome. As we've seen, there hasn't really been any discussion from Gnome here, so we can basically cross them off the list. Very shortly after, we got the act from Cosmic. At this point, they have the three acts, they have the three implementations, so pretty much they have the go-ahead and can go and implement it. But they do need to wait for the 30-day discussion period. At which point, PQ, otherwise known as Pekka from the Western Project, also replied with some concerns. This could have massively slowed things down, but surprisingly, it didn't. And thankfully, it wasn't some weird concern that nobody had really thought of yet. It was basically the exact same concern that Vlad had over in the KDE side regarding the destroy order. As I said though, this is a lot bigger than just this one protocol. Every time asked over the years, I have been trying to tell people not to assume any specific order of WL resource destruction when a WL client is suddenly destroyed, like in the case of a disconnect. 
Lib Wayland server might have some order, or maybe it indeed depends on object ID assignments, but another implementation could have a different order. So even if the protocol spec mandates a specific destroy order, the compositor must internally be able to handle any order. But because this was a Wayland wide problem, and not just relevant to this one specific protocol, a separate merge was opened, staging slash alpha modifier, relaxed rules around surface destruction, along with a separate issue discussing how object destruction should be done. Thankfully, because this affects so many other protocols, this is not blocking on this one specific issue. So, Pekka said, looks good to me, and act on behalf of Western. Even though they didn't need a fourth, they now had it. Thankfully, even though it could have very easily happened like it's happened in so many other cases, this didn't block the protocol for five years into the future about a complete nothing burger. And then the craziest things happened. Simon Sir removed in 30 day discussion period. Simon Sir removed needs review. Simon Sir removed needs acts. Merging. Since all the requirements for inclusion have been met and there were no recent comments, thank you. Simon Sir merged two weeks ago. And that's it. That's the end of the thread. There's no like, oh, let's uh let's reject the merger. Oh, let's say how we don't actually need to do this. Or let's say maybe we should do it in this complete different way that nobody up until this point has suggested. No. It just got merged work actually got completed in the Wayland project in a reasonable length of time. Now this hasn't been released in a new version of the Wayland protocols yet, so the downstream projects like WROOT, like KDE, haven't merged the protocol yet. These are still open discussions and maybe things are going to change with the desktop projects. But at least in the place where things always fall apart, at least there, it actually got dealt with quickly. I know I often talk about how there is hilarious bike shedding in the Whalen project, because that's just what generally is happening, and I also talk about how it may have been different if, when all of this started, there actually was a Whalen BDFL. But when I see protocol discussions like this, it does give me hope. It gives me hope that People in this project, even though they have these completely different desktop goals, sometimes can actually work together and get something done in what seems like a reasonable length of time. But what do you think? Do you think this was actually a good protocol discussion? Do you wish that everything else went like this? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, bear, pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and we are never going to see this again.